motivated to do is just build tolerance and I think the best way to build tolerance is with familiarity. Food for many people is the easiest entry point to explore and learn about other cultures. And I think most people want to know other cultures and where people come from and they're interested in the food. And so for me, Hotbread Kitchen is really just about opening up access points to, for people to different cultures. I'm Jessamyn Rodriguez and I'm the founder of Hotbread Kitchen. Hopper Kitchen is a, um, a social enterprise. We are a job training program for foreign born and minority women and we bake a line of delicious multi-ethnic breads um, that we sell to help pay for really high quality training. A hot bread kitchen is really about helping women who have passion and interest in the culinary arts get better jobs. I had this realization that in most parts of the world, women bake bread. In Bangladesh, women wake up in the morning and, and make chapati for their family or, um, you know, in, in, in Latin America, might, women might make up, wake up and grind corn and make it into tortillas. But um, for reasons that are really unclear to me, in North America and in Europe, it's men who are getting good jobs in the baking industry. So I started Hot Bread Kitchen to get more women into good jobs in the baking industry. We have great vendor partnerships. Whole Foods for us is an amazing partner, and we've developed breads that they've really expressed that there's been a need for. We like to say that the breads are inspired by the countries that women come from, and so many of the breads that we have are developed in conjunction or developed together between our head baker, Aileen, and the bakers who come through the training program. About two years into the development of Hot Bread Kitchen, I was introduced to three women from Morocco. One of them in particular, Bouchra, taught Hot Bread Kitchen how to make M salmon and develop the recipe with me for kind of this flaky, buttery bread, which has now become one of our best sellers. The first time that we um, sold them salmon. Boucher in particular was like, are you crazy? These people don't know what salmon is. And I was like, trust me Boucher, this bread is amazing. At nine o'clock we rang the market bell. We were selling the salmon hot, heated up with honey. And by noon we had sold out of all of the salmon. And you can tell people we're a country that values difference. This is a country that values the contribution of immigrant communities. But that isn't necessarily people's experience. The best thing you can do is show people that New Yorkers and Americans are interested in the food that they make. I think cultural diversity is what makes this country interesting. I love living in a city where there are people from all over the world. If we all look the same and think the same and act the same, to me that is not an interesting place to live and there is nothing new to learn.